Within spirituality, enlightenment is probably the end goal to get to. That's why people give up all of their belongings, they go to the mountains and meditate for the rest of their lives. To reach this kind of being, this state. When you look at the emotional ladder that you can climb, enlightenment is the the end of the top top vibrational states that you can get in so when you look at that enlightenment is purely a state of being could you say it's an emotion maybe maybe it is an emotion but when one reaches the state of enlightenment true enlightenment it means that you stay there and so everyone can reach it that's why people love to meditate because when you meditate you basically get to the core of your being and the core of your being is enlightened it is not attached to any emotion anything outside of you any material any situations or events or things that you're wanting to manifest your desires it is true source because you are in your basic of being you are created from source and so when you get to that core of your being there is nothing else than just that being being who you truly are beyond all the illusions of what you think you are your identity your body even the vessel that you have incarnated in enlightenment is what i believe letting go of all attachments and that's why once again people go into the mountains and they meditate and they give up all of their belongings but in my perception enlightenment is not about doing that yeah sure it is easier when you're away from everything and everyone to get to that point but i also do believe that we are here on this planet to fully engage in this reality to fully experience everything that this reality has to offer and so how can we get to a state of enlightenment according to my beliefs and of course if you don't resonate with that that is fine it is truly my perception but according to my beliefs we can get to a state of enlightenment through letting go letting go of all attachments letting go of all of the illusions that we have projected because what the illusion really is is this reality it's the filter that we look through it's the filter of the accumulations of our beliefs of our conditioning of our mind of what we truly believe is reality because what is reality is truly the perception the filter that we look through and the filter that we look through determines what we truly see in this world what we feel and what we experience and so the filter that we look through makes our experience that's why when we want to manifest something it always starts with changing the filter that we look through because if we change the filter that we look through the reflection that we get back changes this is how you manipulate reality this is how you create reality so if you take away that filter what is left is only your core of your being and when you can recognize that everything that you experience 
everything that you project, everything including your body and your identity, if you can see that as the illusion, as the game that we're playing here, then you can get to a point of awareness, awareness of it all, not being identified with any of it, not being attached to anything, anything that you own or you think you own. Truly detached from the material world and then again being able to enjoy it and experience it. I think if you can get to that state, you will be able to experience enlightenment. And that is the beautiful thing about our being, about our capabilities, is that we can get to that point. We can rise above the 3D reality and we can tap into higher dimensions because our level of consciousness and the levels our body can get to. And so when you get to that oneness state, that oneness state with source, the oneness with everything, yet nonness, meaning that you're not attached to anything and everything around you, that's where you get to the state of what the Buddhism, I believe, calls nirvana. That's when you get to a state of enlightenment. And I truly believe that this is the end goal of spirituality. It's the end goal of um, understanding this reality, but most importantly, being. Because spirituality is not about doing, it's about being. It's about getting to a state. That's why all these rituals and all these um, habits and things, procedures, almost um, what spirituality often refers to. That's why those things were invented. That's why people say that you need to meditate or you need to do certain things. It's all because these are practices that will get you to this state of enlightenment. But it doesn't mean that doing these practices will make you more spiritual because you are a spiritual being in your core. There's nothing that you can do about it. You cannot not be a spiritual being because it is your essence. And that's why we need to recognize that enlightenment is not bound to any practice. It is simply recognizing that you are a soul incarnated in a body that is not who you are. Your body is not who you are. You are your soul. You are a piece of source. You are objective, you're not subjective. You're not your thoughts, you're not your identity, you're not your belongings. You are none of that. And at the same time, you are everything around you because you are oneness. Let me know in the comments how you view enlightenment and how you think that people will get to a point of enlightenment and freedom within this material world, freedom of attachment. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts and your experience and if you've ever experienced enlightenment before. And if you have liked this video, make sure to like this video as this video needs to be spread out to anyone who needs to hear it right now. And for those of you who are new here and haven't already subscribed to my channel, remember to do so as you will be the first to watch all of my videos every Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so that you can create your best life. Remember, we have such an exciting future to look forward to, even if it doesn't seem like it right now. Thank you so much for being here and I am looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye for now.